Okay, you guys know me, I'm Jenna. So normally there's a whole bunch of football guys, but they're taking a break today, which is totally okay. But we have Colin who is with us. You know, he's been leading the last three practices. Colin's gonna help us today with some of our exercises and Steph, Steph's gonna help us also with our exercises today. So uh, first, before we start, make sure you guys have your water bottle that's filled with water. I see everyone, awesome. And the next thing you guys may need is a towel. We're gonna work on balancing. And a towel, if you lay it on your ground, it might be like kind of a balancing where you can work on putting your um, foot in front of the other. If you don't wanna have a rolled up towel, you can just put a piece of tape and put it on your carpet. Make sure it's like painter's tape and not duct tape because I don't know what kind of floors you have in your homes and I don't want you ripping up anything. So with that, we're gonna get started with our warmups, okay? So I will let Colin lead the first one, Steph will lead the second and I will lead the third. So everyone make sure you guys get up and get ready to move and have a fun time. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with one that we've been doing lately. So we're just gonna do arm circles. We're gonna go 10 circles forward, okay? Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we go 10 circles backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. All right. Next warm up is we're going to do some arm hugs, but we're going to stretch our arms really wide and give ourselves a hug. We'll do 10 of those together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome. Okay, we've done a lot of arm stuff, so I'm gonna do legs. So we're gonna do some jumping jacks, you guys. So. Make sure you're standing up and we're going to go. We're going to do 10 jumping jacks, okay? Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Okay. Good job, everyone. Okay. One more round of warm ups. Okay, we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna do another leg thing here. So we're just gonna do marching high knees. So we're just gonna keep raising our knees up as high as we can, okay? We're gonna do it for about 15 more seconds. See how high we can get our knee. So you can get the bottom of your feet up there in the camera. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. All right, next, we're gonna do star jumps. And when you do this, you can say, I'm a star. We're gonna do 10 together. So I have one, I'm a star. Two, I'm a star. Three, four, five, six, seven, I'm a star, eight, Nine, 10. Awesome work. Okay, for the last exercise, you guys, we're gonna do lunges. So, oh, excuse me, make sure you have space and you're gonna lunge. Does everyone know what a lunge looks like? I'll try and demonstrate it. You're gonna take your leg out, bend down, Make it a 90 degree angle the best you can, and you're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, switch legs, you guys. <laughs> 
When you guys are switch slides, we'll start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm warm. And now we're gonna get into our balance exercises. Okay guys, so for our first balance exercise, we're gonna have you stand up just like this. And we're gonna practice balancing on just our right leg, okay? So we're gonna take our left leg and pick it up like this. If you start to fall, it's okay to put your leg down, but for the first round, we're gonna go 10 seconds, okay? So ready, and pick that left leg up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Now we're gonna switch to that other leg, okay? So now we're keep our left leg on the ground and put our right leg up in the air. Once again, if, if you start to fall, go ahead and just put it on the ground and pick it right back up, okay? So 10 seconds, ready, up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, guys. All right, next up, we're gonna work on leg swings. So if you need it, again, if you need a chair or a wall next to you, we're gonna start with that right leg. We're gonna stand on our right leg and we're gonna swing our left leg back and forth. We're gonna do 10 of them so you can see. So again, if you need a chair to balance, that's okay. Left leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. We'll do that left side now. So move again, sit balancing on our left leg and we're gonna swing our right leg back and forth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Great work. Thanks, Colin and Steph. So our last balancing exercise for this round is we're going to just walk on a line. So remember that towel I said that you guys could grab? You can grab that towel, put it on the ground, and then walk foot over foot. So I'll kind of show you my footwork. So you're gonna take a step and put your other foot right in front of it. Step right in front. may seem easy you guys but just really make sure you're walking foot in front of foot and we're going to do that for 20 seconds okay so i'm going to count putting my foot in front of my foot ready set go one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Nice job, everyone. End of round one. Now we got round two. Gonna make it a little harder on you guys. Okay guys, so to start round two, we're gonna do the same exercise we did last time, but we're gonna bump up the seconds, okay? So once again, we're gonna go, we're gonna go 20 seconds this time, okay? Start again, left leg on the ground, we're gonna lift our right leg up, okay? 20 seconds, and up. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. We're going to switch, switch legs here, okay? If you feel like this is really easy and you feel like you want to challenge yourself, go ahead and stick your arms out to the side or stick them up in the air. Anything that feels comfortable, okay? But do it while you're raising the other leg. So I'm going to put right leg on the ground, left leg in the air, okay? Ready? 20 seconds. Up. 20. 19. 18. 17. 16. 15. 14. 13. 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, guys. All right, all right. We're going to move on to leg swings again. Standing with our right leg on the ground, we're going to swing that left leg. Um, we will do 20 of them. Picking up the pace as well. We have one, oop, one sec. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice work, nice work. Shake out those legs if you need. Again, if you need a chair or a wall, that's great to help balance. Standing on our left leg, we're gonna use that right leg. We'll do 20 again. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Great work. Good job, everyone. Everyone's doing a, good, a really awesome job. So last or next exercise we're gonna do is, instead of walking on a line, we're going to um, hop and balance on one foot. So kind of like what Colin's doing, you're balancing on one foot. Now, now try to hop on one foot. So we're gonna hop on our right foot for 10 times, and then we're gonna hop on our left foot for 10 times, okay? So you're gonna back up, Balance on your right leg, and then you're gonna hop. Let's try 10 times, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, shake it out, and go on to your left leg, okay? Get your balance, look at something to help you, and let's go 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job, everyone. Okay, guys, so round three, the last round of the balance, we're gonna make it the toughest we've had so far, okay? So we're gonna go 30 seconds this time on each leg. So same exercise. Let's start with that right leg on the ground, okay? 30 seconds. And up. Twenty-five. Twenty. 15, halfway there, guys. 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other leg now. So we're gonna keep that left leg on the ground, okay? 30 seconds, ready? And up. 
30. Twenty-five. Twenty. Fifteen. You guys see Jenna? She's doing arm circles. We can do that while we do it too if you really want to challenge. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Good job, guys. All right, to go back to our leg swings, we're now gonna add a pause at the end and hold a static pose. So we'll put our chair if we need. We'll start on our right foot and we're just gonna hold it at the top of our swing. We're only do 10 each side, but we'll do our swing and then we'll hold for one, two and then swing back, one, two. So we'll start, we'll do 10 total. So swing back and hold, one, two. That's one, one, two, that's two. One, two, that's three. One, two, that's four. One, two, five. One, two, six. One, two, seven. One, two, eight. One, two, nine. One, two, oops, 10. Getting ahead of myself here. All right, switching legs, shake it out if you need. Again, we're gonna stand on our left foot. We're gonna swing our right. So we'll swing back and then we'll hold it for two seconds. So we have swing, one, two, that's one. Swing, hold, one, two, two. Swing and hold, one, two, that's three. Swing and hold, one, two, that's four. Swing and hold, one, two, five. Swing, one, two, six. Swing, one, two, seven. Swing and hold. One, two, that's eight. Swing and hold. One, two, that's nine. Swing and hold. One, two, that's 10. Awesome work, nice work. Okay, you guys, so we're on our last exercise for balance. So instead of jumping 10 times on one leg, we're gonna jump 15 times on one leg, okay? So stand up. Back it up. We're gonna start on our right leg, okay? So make sure your right leg's in a good position. Your eyes are focused on somewhere. That'll help you with your bouncing. We're gonna go 15 times. So count loud and proud. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, <laughs> nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Shake it out. Okay. Now move on to your left leg. Get your left leg balanced in a good form. Again, focus on something if you need it. And then we're going to start. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Way to go, everyone. So, nice job. Make sure you guys take a water break and we're going to start our cool down in just a second. Everyone did such a great job. You should be proud of yourselves. Even Cody over there. <laughs> okay. Um, first, I'm gonna call in Harper. Harper, do you know why balance is important for sports? 
and for practices. Uh, so you can be better at balancing. Mm hmm. And how does that help with help us with some of our moves, like running or jumping? We stay stronger. Yep. You got it. It helps balancing helps our body stay in control when we have weird motions. Um, so balance is just as important as cardio or weightlifting. So we have to make sure you guys are working on our balance as well. Nice job, Harper. So we're going to get into our cool down. So Colin, if you want to lead us, we will follow you. Okay, guys. So for our first cool down stretch, we do a lot of balancing. Balancing is a lot of core muscles. So we use our muscles in our stomach a lot. So we're going to do something to stretch that out. So I'm going to have you get down on all fours. Try and move my camera here. Just like this. And we're going to stretch our legs out. So just our stomach is touching the ground. And we're going to try it and push up with our arms. Just like that, okay? We're going to hold that for about 15 seconds. You guys should be feeling it right here and right here, right above your, right on your lower back. About seven more seconds. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. All right, and then the opposite right of of that stretch is a child's pose. So just like we use the front of our core when we balance, we also have core muscles in our back. So we're gonna to wanna to go into a child's pose where we're sitting on our, our knees with our, on our heels. And then we're gonna stretch our arms out nice and wide and lay our head on the ground. We'll hold this for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, everyone. Ah, oh, Steph, child pose was going to be mine. <laughs> oh, okay, so along with your core and your back, your legs were also worked for all the jumping we did. So what you're going to do is you're going to sit butterfly, put your feet together, butterfly, okay? Make sure your feet are touching. You can bring your legs far out or you can bring them close in. The closer in, the more stretch you're going to feel in your inner legs, okay? And you can flap your butterfly or you can just let it be. But we'll count for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Colin, it looks like you were struggling in that one. That's something I have to work on is my uh, hip flexibility, it's something that they have me focus on. So yeah, I'm not very good at that one. Especially with all you kickers. <laughs> yeah, I use them too much and then it gets tight. Okay, so. What Jenna did was a leg extra or a leg stretch. We're going to do another kind of leg stretch, okay? So we're going to lay on our backs, almost like we're going to do a sit-up, put our knees up in the air, and we're going to take one of our legs, and so we'll say right leg, and put our heel over that knee, okay? And we're just going to try and slowly push this knee so that it's going to be at a 90-degree angle with this knee. And you guys should feel it a little bit right in your – Top of your leg and your hip area. And we're just going to hold that for about 10 seconds and switch legs. Three, two, one. Okay, good job. Now we're going to switch legs. Same stretch. So we're going to take our left leg and we're going to put it over our right knee. And then light pressure, not very hard. We want to go nice and light so we don't hurt ourselves. We're going to push for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. All right. We'll do another back um, stretch that's very similar to Collins. 
Um, so we're gonna take, we're gonna lay on the ground and instead of putting our leg on our knee, we're gonna kind of cross it over our body to kind of doing a figure four stretch on our back. So we'll take our right leg, we'll bring it up and then we're gonna move it over and stretch out our hand. This is really stretching out our back and helping again to stretch those back core muscles. So I pulled my right leg up and then I moved it to the left. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great, we're gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna grab that left knee, bringing that left knee up, and then gonna move that knee to my right. I'm gonna stick out my hand and we'll stay stretched here for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, everyone. Great job. Thanks, Colin and stuff. So for our last, um, cool down exercise. We're going to work on our obliques area. So if you want to sit on your bottom and open your legs up in the letter V, you're going to reach to the sky, rotate over your leg. Hey, Joe, on your bottom. <laughs> Sorry, there you go. Reach up to the sky, rotate over your leg, and then just hold it down. And hold this position. And we'll count for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Make sure you roll up slowly, come to center. And then again, reach your arms up high to touch the sky. Go over your other leg and fold down slowly. And again, we'll count 10, nine, eight, seven, Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, everyone. Before we sign off though, Steph's gonna get us and teach us another color of a rainbow. So two weeks ago, we talked about the red fruits and vegetables. Today, we're gonna be talking about orange fruits and vegetables. So this time you guys can unmute yourselves and you know talk with Steph on you know, fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Jenna, would you mind giving me sharing abilities? I would love to. All good. Uh, so two, ho -ho. two weeks, no worries. So two weeks ago, we talked about, right, that our body needs certain vegetables. Um, just like a car needs certain fuel to run, right? If you put water in a car, it wouldn't work. So if you put gasoline in the car, right, that's the right, the right fuel for the car to run. So our body is similar. We need the right foods in our body to help our body, you know, perform, do different exercises, you know, even our brain, right, to make sure that we're, we're able to sleep. It helps us with school as well. So like learning um, and different activities. So um, we look at um, our rainbow. We wanna make sure that we're eating a variety of different foods. Um, hold on, I gotta get into presenter mode. Um, so if we look at the rainbow here, we have all sorts of really fun colors and we notice that foods come in all these different colors. Um, so when we think about, we talked about red colors last, or red foods last time. And today we're gonna talk about orange foods. Um, and orange foods are really, really good. Um, they have a, a vitamin called vitamin C and, or I'm sorry, they have beta carotene in them. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, and beta carotene is really, really good for our eyes. So it helps our eyes to see and it helps them develop um, in healthy ways. So I'd love to hear from all of you about what are some orange foods that you all know about. I'm gonna actually, oops, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that, apologies. Um, I wanna write them on our rainbow if possible. Does anybody know of any orange, um, are any orange foods that you all like to eat? Fruits or vegetables? Feel free to unmute your guys, unmute yourself and just talk free. Steph's ready. Oranges, tangerines, 
Oranges. Yes. And tangerines. I don't know why my text is purple. It's kind of <laughs> Maybe hard to see though. We have oranges. And Harbor also said tangerines. Great. Love that. Anybody else know of any other orange fruits or vegetables? There's one that rabbits really like to eat. Carrots. Carrots, yes. Carrots are a great source of beta carotene. They really, really help our eyes. That's a great one. Joe, do you know of any orange fruits or vegetables? Um, I like cucumbers. You like cucumbers? I love cucumbers too. Those are really, really good. But those are green, right? We're look, thinking about orange. We'll have to save that one. You're like two weeks ahead. I love that you're thinking about that though. Cucumbers are great vegetables. I, um, I sometimes buy them at a store. Oh yeah? That's great. I love that you get to go to the store and help pick out the cucumbers. That's awesome. Does um, anyone eat peppers? I know a lot of people think of red peppers, but there are also orange peppers. Yes, there are. I also really like something that we have on Halloween. Anybody, um, there's a lovely vegetable that's nice orange color that normally we, we carve out of, but you can eat it as well. Anybody know what it is? It's also really good in a pie. Yeah. <laughs> Pumpkin. Pumpkin, yeah. So pumpkin has a great source of beta carotene. All right, I can think of one more that's a really awesome one. You can also make pie out of it. And sometimes people eat them with marshmallows. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, nice I work. Harper. <laughs> yes, sweet potatoes. So sweet potatoes are an awesome, if I can spell, potatoes are an awesome source. They're an awesome orange vegetable. Does anybody squash. else have any others? Squash. Squash, yep. Squash is great. As, similar to a pumpkin, squash is an awesome orange vegetable. All right, this is a great list. We have so many, we have so many orange fruits and vegetables here. I'm gonna take a screenshot so I can remember all of these wonderful vegetables that you all came up with, fruits and vegetables. So we'll do a little recap. Um, if I can go to the next slide. Let's see. Okay. So just a little recap for um, next, um, two weeks ago, we talked about red foods. Does anybody remember what red foods are good for? I'll give you a hint. It goes thump, 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 thump. Heart. Our heart. Yep. So red foods are really, really good for our heart. They keep our heart healthy. And then today we talked about orange foods and orange foods that we talked about are really good for what? Our eyes. Our eyes. Exactly. Nice work, Harper. So we have that beta carotene. That beta carotene helps develop our eyes and keep them healthy. Wonderful work, everybody. So next week we will continue to go through the rainbow and then you know hopefully we'll get to those cucumbers when we talk about green foods with joe awesome thanks staff so you guys that's a wrap fit five number four so we have done the first level one activity so starting next week thursday we'll get into some of the level two exercises for uh, balance endurance strength and flexibility so might be a little bit harder but we can always modify it Okay, everyone, have a great night. Make sure you're drinking your water and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thank you. Bye.